Hey guys, I'm currently visiting my parents for Easter weekend and my dad, say hi dad, hi. is going to help me make some frames for screen printing. These are really expensive if you buy them in a shop or online, especially in New Zealand, so doing them a DIY way is much cheaper, so we're going to show you how we do it. So this is the wood we're going to be using and it's 25mm square wood, but honestly it doesn't have to be exactly this size, just anything that will make a frame is fine. And I've got my measurements all sorted out and ready to go because we've got 5.4 meters worth of wood and I want to try and get five frames out of it, so we've got to be exact. As the saying goes, measure twice, cut once. So we're measuring the wood and making sure that we've got all the sizes for the frames that I'm going to be needing. And then we're writing on the wood how long each piece is so that we know which pieces go together to make the frames. Then we get cutting, and Dad's using a skill saw here, but if you've only got a hand saw, that will be absolutely fine as well. It just means it'll take you a little bit longer. Once all the pieces were cut, we gathered them into piles so that we knew which four pieces went together to make each frame. The next step is to drill some holes so that it will be easier for us to screw the wood together. And the aim here is to try and get the hole as close to the centre of the wood as possible. Then you screw the pieces together and, I know this might sound obvious but I'll say it anyway, make sure your screws are longer than your piece of wood is wide so that it will go through and hold everything together nicely. Once you've got all your frames screwed together, it's time to get on to covering them with fabric. Proper screen fabric is really expensive and I think that's what makes up most of the cost actually of ready made screens, but I've found that using this fabric here, which is called a Swiss foil I think, from the curtain section of the fabric store, works perfectly. It's got probably a medium mesh I'd say, which means that you can see the little holes in the fabric, which is what the ink will push through. But they're not too wide and they're not too small either. Now this is the fun part and probably the hardest part to get right as well because you need your fabric to be fairly taut on the screen. So here I'm stapling the fabric onto the first side of the frame and you don't need to worry too much about this. Dad's just sort of pulling down at the sides to make sure we don't get too many bubbles in the fabric. Cannot believe he trusted me to film with one hand and staple with the other. So then we go around the frame stapling and really the whole time you're just sort of wanting to pull to create tension and so that the fabric is nice and tight on the frame but not so tight that it's going to rip because it is a fairly thin material so you just have to be careful. It's also ridiculously cheap so if you screw up no worries you can just cut another piece. Me and dad have made frames like this a few times before and as you can see we're not at all worried about it looking messy because it really doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it does the job. So once you've stapled your fabric onto the frame, you want to end up with a nice flat surface with no bubbles or ripples in it, just nice tight fabric across the frame. As you can see, this is quite an easy process if you've got the tools and someone to help you make these, and it's definitely worth the time involved because it can literally save you hundreds of dollars if you're wanting to make quite a few frames. Big thanks to my dad for making the frames for me because I know I said at the start that he was going to help me make some frames, but as you saw, he basically did all the work. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.